And when it comes to speed development, right, and your ability to, to get faster and get more powerful, how much of that do you feel like is genetic? How much of that do you feel like was part of your workout regimen? From an intuitive standpoint, if you're asking me from experience, I think a large component of at least if we're talking about football speed, 40 speed is trainable because it comes down to stride frequency and how much power you produce. So length and frequency is speed. And if you can get an athlete to produce more stride frequency and keep the stride length the same, they're going to get faster. So it's just an equation that you have to run. And it, it, yes, there is a genetic code that will set a 4-4 person different from a 4-3 person. There's a a certain genetic component that like that four, four person, just you need a certain genetic element to run that like elite time. But in terms of like the above average times, like four, four, I think that a lot of that is trainable.